Hey everybody, this is Doug from SoCal Malifaux. This is a quick video series I put together to help introduce you to how to play Malifaux online using the Vassal software. Um, I'll give you as quick and simple and straightforward as an introduction as I can. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. I'll give you some information at the end on how to do that. So let's get started. If it's your very first time ever using the Malifaux Vassal, the first thing that you're going to have to do is open Vassal and then load up the module. So here you can see my desktop. Uh, opening Vassal is pretty straightforward. I've got the shortcut on my desktop right there. I'm just going to double click it to get it open. From here I'll go up and click on File and in the File menu there's an option to Load Modules. This assumes that you've already downloaded both the both Vassal obviously and the M2E module that you can get off the weird site but go ahead and just select the M2E module, click Open and it'll start opening it up. Anytime after the first, you're not going to need to load the module. It should already be there on the screen. So opening up the module is fairly straightforward. Uh, here's a picture of my desktop again. So this is if I've already got the module loaded. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. You just double click on the module itself and the wizard should open up. There it is. Um, from the wizard I always select look for a game online. Um, that's what I recommend for you to do. I've never used any of the other options. You can do it, pretty much anything you want to do for the M2E module by choosing look for a game online. And this will get you into the main interface. So now that you've made it into Vassal, the first place you're going to want to look is the Active Games window. The Active Games window is on the top right. It shows you a list of all the players who are currently logged into Vassal, all the rooms that are open. Um, in this particular window, there's, there's only the main room, so no other games are really active at this time. But this Active Games window really gives you a breakdown of everything that's going on currently in Vassal, in the M2E module. There are two ways to get into a game in Vassal. One is create the room and have a friend join it. The other is join a room that already exists. First I'm going to walk you through creating your own room. So the first thing you'll do is you'll go up into the active games window and in that little text box that says new game there, you're going to type anything you want to create a new room. I'm going to create a new game called Awesome New Game. And there it is. So if, all you have to do is type it in, hit enter, and the room will appear. It'll automatically drop you in the room so that you're ready to go for the next steps. Now that you've got a room created, you're halfway there. The next thing you're going to do is pick a map for your encounter. Uh, this is a fairly simple process as well. In your main window, you go up to the file button which I will point out with a red arrow and choose encounters to load one of the maps that came with the module. For this one I'm gonna go ahead and pick the high ground map I think. When you click on the encounter a little window pops up that asks you what side you want to be on. I generally choose player one if I'm the one creating the game. If I'm joining a game I pick, I pick player two. The third option is observer if you don't want to be either player one or player two you just want to watch a friend, a friend play a game. And that's it. Okay, so like I said, there's two ways to get into a game in Vassal. The first one is to create your own room. The second option is have your opponent create the room and you just join it after he's already made it. So here's an example of that. Here if you look, I'm still in the main room. The main room, games can't be played in the main room, but the awesome new game room already exists and Thomas is in it. Thomas is created. It's Simple, all I do is double click on Awesome New Game. It drops me into the room and loads up the map, like we see here. Okay, I actually lied. There's really three ways you can get into a game. The third way is by loading a previously saved game. You do it almost the same as creating a new game. Up in the New Game window, you're going to type the name of a room. Um, let's see, how about Boop Part 2? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, part, Boop Part 2 sounds good. Okay, so now you can see I've created Room Boop Part 2. There's me inside of it. Uh, I'll go up to File just like I did before, but instead of choosing Encounters, I go to Load Game. And I'll go and I'll find the game that I saved during my last session. 
For this one I'm going to load my game Pandora v Hoth. Click open and it'll load up the map and now again I'm ready for a friend to join. I should point out that you always need to load the map before the second player joins or else you'll have to synchronize after you guys get in. But it's just easier to just have the second player join after the map's already loaded. And that's it. Now you know how to create a game, how to join a game, and how to load a game. Check out part two and I'll talk about decks, picking your crew, and strats and schemes. Thanks. Bye bye. Ah, one last thing. If you've got questions, there's probably better men than me to ask, but if you insist, I can be reached at dlessavoy at gmail.com, or you can always get me on the SoCal Malifaux Facebook page, and sometimes even the A Weird Place Facebook page. I'll see you guys next time.